check out these Ikea finds that are perfect for your craft room. Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife, find scrappywife.com. Today we are taking a field trip to Ikea. It has been a hot second since I've been to Ikea and I just know there are going to be some fabulous finds that will help us get our craft rooms in order. So let's go. Ikea is certainly going to always have some tried and true storage solutions that will really maximize your storage possibilities within your craft space. But the cool thing is that every few months, every season, they release new pieces um, that can be thought of and looked at in different ways, and they really can help extend the use of your space. One of the first ones I came across was this Snickra storage set. It was right up in the showroom right when you entered. And what I loved about it was A, the price. It is hard to beat that price for a full eight piece set. And I thought this was a great almost pegboard solution for a small space. $14.99, you get the eight piece set. It is like a small grid board that comes with hooks, has a little cup, just a lot of opportunities, very cute clip, to add to this board to organize your space, especially if you are in a smaller space. Maybe you have a craft table in the corner of your bedroom or maybe in your dining room. I always say one of the best solutions is to take uh, advantage of any vertical space you can, and that means working up the walls. And this little piece for only $15, eight pieces, offers you a lot of different opportunities to take things off of your desk space off of your workspace, lift them up onto the wall just to give you a little bit more crafting room. I would most likely use it to keep my essentials, my pens, my scissors, probably probably my adhesives, but you can see how functional it makes this little office nook look. And I think it would be great for really utilizing your space in a smaller scale really, really well, or you could get several of them and put them together. Next up is the Nisaphores cart, and this is not a new cart at Ikea. However, there are some new colors which I think are beautiful, and I have kind of a new take on this cart. I, of course, have used the Rascog carts for a long time, the similar one from Michaels as well. What I like about these is that they don't actually have a very big lip around the edge, which makes it a little bit easier to get things in and out. The one complaint I have about my recollections cards that I have from Michaels is that sometimes it's hard to pick things in and out of there. It can get caught easily. Um, the lower lip on the Nisaphores carts makes it easy to have containers like this that you can pull on and off the cart really uh easily and allows you to get to your stuff. This one is also a little bit bigger than um, the traditional recollections carts that we have seen for years. And so I think it's a great addition to any craft space. And again, Ikea is fabulous for really maximizing smaller spaces. Using carts is an easy way to create zones within your crafting so that you can find what you're looking for really easily. So you saw the white, this is a beautiful black cart. And then there was also a beautiful kind of green color, seafoam green. The other thing I have noticed about these carts is I've seen several people online spray paint them. So if you have a custom color you're looking for, that might be a great solution for you. I also love that when you visit an Ikea in person, there is so much inspiration all around you. Again, pieces that you've seen over and over again, but utilized in a little bit different way. Loved the staggered look of these bookshelves and how some were up a little bit higher than others. I thought that created a really nice, interesting um, direction for your eye to follow. There's just all kinds of inspiration in all of the different uh, displays that they have at Ikea. And I especially love the bedroom displays because I think that is where a lot of people have their crafting supplies, either in a home office or in a bedroom. And this one caught my eye because this was in a kitchen. So my next find is this Norberg desk 
unit. And again, we are thinking small craft spaces, really utilizing some spots in your house, in your apartment that you might not normally think, but that can give you an opportunity to have a special creative space that's just for you, even if it's small. This one is actually a fold down desk. The shelving stays open. You can see lots of opportunities to store little bits and pieces, pens, things like that, maybe some washi tape. And then it has a leaf style table that can come up so you have a place to do planning. I love that they, again, positioned one of these great Nisafor carts right next to this. That would be a wonderful solution for having a few more crafting supplies, stickers, paper, things like that. But the cool thing is you can actually put the table section down like this so that if it's a main walkway, um, if you are finding a spot within another area of your house that needs to be used in multiple ways, the fact that this can kind of collapse down is fabulous. My thought though is how cool would it be if instead of coming down, it actually closed upwards and you could close out. I'm showing you here how it works. Pretty easy to get this all set up. Wouldn't it be cool if you could close it upwards? I'm kind of wondering if you can get something like this and change where the hinges are. That made me super curious. It's definitely something that I would want to check out because I think that would be um, a very interesting way to close up your craft supplies and save that so it was out of sight, but still give you a way to fold down and have a space to work. Before we get to our next brand new find, this is an old find and it's probably no secret that I am not the biggest fan of Calyx units in general. They're not my favorite thing ever. However, they do continue to come out with new inserts for the Calyx, which I think are fantastic. Different style drawers. Love the paper inserts right here. This does not fit 12 by 12 paper though. Just a heads up if you are planning. And I did like the new style of drawers with this cutout just because it's a little bit easier to grab and open. So if you have the Calyx unit and you're looking for ways to update that storage, be sure to go check some of the new accessories that are available. The next new item I found was actually in the kitchen area, but it can be used in lots of different areas. That's something to keep in mind as you are strolling around Ikea. Just because something is located in the kitchen doesn't mean you have to use it in the kitchen. Look at this wall shelf. Again, utilizing vertical storage, utilizing the space above your desk. This is fabulous because you can display things like planners, sticker books, art journals, things like that on the shelf, and then hang things off of the hooks. Look at the little canvas bags. They also have the similar style um, of almost like a towel bar that it sits much more flush to the wall. You can see how they used it with these hooks right here to hold scissors. I just wanna show you how you can then hang the hook on the shelf. So then it's a multi-purpose piece. You can display books, journals, items that you're working on, and have hooks that hold, um, geez, you could hold mason jars, you could hold all kinds of little things. Here's an example of putting those spice jars, which are fabulous for confetti and glitter and sequins. I think you could create quite the display above your desk using pieces from this particular line. I also think these canvas totes are adorable and that you could either dye them or decorate them. All right, let's think about how you can better utilize some bookshelves or shelving that you might already have in your craft space. This new line of shelving accessories is so genius. Again, kitchen area, but can be utilized all over the place. The under cabinet shelving came in two different sizes, plus they had some hooks that just would really allow you to organize your shelving in a way that allows you to get to things a little bit more easily. Sometimes when we have a fixed shelf unit, um, we tend to stack things and you have to manipulate things around, move them around in order to get what's at the bottom. Um, an insert like this on your shelf would be fabulous for paper, fabulous for journals. I love the hooks because I think they would be great for holding different scissors, holding uh, binder rings of washi tape in a different kind of way so you could grab it easier. There's there's just so many solutions and I think having pieces like this really allows you to take a 
brand new fresh look at some shelving that you might already have going on in your space to just reconfigure it in a way that is just better utilized and allows you to get to your supplies a little bit easier. Look at, there's even these kitchen pieces that slide right in perfectly for that. It's, it's so well thought out. you are not looking at the utility storage within Ikea, then you are missing out. I am in love with this Ivar shelving unit. It is all wood. It is pine. So you can paint it any color you want. This particular setup, this whole unit, $365, which might seem pricey, but it comes with a desk. You have shelves that you can adjust. It is customizable such a good idea when you are needing to kind of focus in your creative supplies, focus in your craft supplies on one wall of a room. Maybe you are sharing an office with a spouse. Maybe you are taking up one wall of your dining room with craft supplies. Something like this is a great idea because you can customize the shelves. You can customize the colors. The desk is a fold down desk, so it doesn't have to stay out all the time. It is just such a great solution for a small space. And then of course, here is the little Snickra uh, set that we saw earlier. This one is two put together. Love how they came up with that solution. One of my favorite areas to visit within an Ikea looking for craft room storage is actually the children's section. Children, of course, craft, and they have to store a lot of different things like toys and books and stuffed animals. And so this is a great area to come look for some storage solutions that are scaled downwards. I have loved this Trofast line for years. I used to use it in my classroom. I have used it in my craft room. It has a lot of great storage solutions, but that is something that has been around for a while. As I was looking through the kids section, I did find something that was brand new that I had not seen before, and that was a new style cart. I'm anxious to hear what you all think of this cart. I like cart variations because I think depending on your hobby, a different cart might suit your needs um, really nicely depending on what you like to do. This one has some shelves that are adjustable. It really is designed to be backed against a wall. You cannot access everything from both sides. That could work out well depending on the layout of the area. And I think it would hold a lot of different things. Let me know what you think. This is a new find, a little more expensive of course, but could work really well um, for things that you're afraid are going to fall out of a typical cart. All right, so we have checked out the main showroom and it's time to travel downstairs to the marketplace. Remember, when you're going to Ikea, there's really two different sections. There's the showroom and then there's the marketplace. It takes a long time to go through Ikea, so pace yourself. As you are visiting, if you are visiting for the first time or if you're having to travel, make sure you have a list of what you intend to look for. And don't forget to look in places like the bathroom area, there's always going to be surprise storage pieces throughout the store. Pace yourself, make a list, keep a list, take pictures, take a break, regroup. There's all kinds of ways to get through Ikea. And if you want, we can talk through some tips and tricks in a future video on how to maximize your shopping trip. All right. I was in the bathroom section when I saw this wall shelf. A little pricey, but I hadn't seen it before. And again, I love that it is very flush 
to the wall. It's very, very close. If you're in a small space, this would be fabulous for all kinds of little jars and goodies that you collect as a crafter. It just stuck out to me and I wanted to throw it in this video just in case it was going to work for one of you guys. Here's another new cart I found. It did not make my list of finds for a craft room because I don't see it as very functional. It's hard to get in and out of uh, the cart. You have to turn it all different ways, but it is very pretty. So props for color, but functionality. This one, I love this line, but not so functional for your craft space. Now it goes without saying that there are tons of great storage solutions within this organization area of Ikea, all kinds of boxes and baskets and bins and lots of different ways to organize in your craft space, depending on your aesthetic, which is one of the things I love because we don't all have the same aesthetic. So you might be a basket person. I'm a clear bin person. There are solutions for everyone in this store. And even though it's not new, I can't help but walk by and show you the beautiful pegboard options at Ikea. Love these in a craft space, but just remember they don't function as a normal pegboard. You have to use Ikea accessories. All right, my next new find is not totally new. This is number nine, the Maslanda picture ledge. And yes, these picture ledges have been around for a while, but there continue to be new finishes, which I applaud Ikea for. Because again, just like I said before, if you have a certain aesthetic, it's nice to be able to find functional pieces that fit that aesthetic. I have had these picture ledges all over my craft room uh, for years and years and years now. I have used them to hold washi tape. I've used them to display planners. I've used them for journal purposes. I've used them to hold spice jars that hold tiny little bits and pieces. They can hold, there's so many opportunities to use these. And again, it utilizes vertical space. That is going to wrap up our Ikea field trip today. Thank you so much for coming along. Let me know down in the comments which one of these nine brand new craft room finds at Ikea jumped out to you as something that could be functional and usable in your space. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I have organization videos all the time as well as some creativity videos. I would love to have you join me on this channel. I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you all for being an amazing crafty community. If you are looking for more inspiration, content and a great crafting community to be a part of. Patreon is the place you can start your free trial today. All right. I hope that all of you have a fabulous day and as always keep it creative.